This video is an introduction to using the networking capabilities of the ESP8266 Node MCU with MicroPython. Follow along with our guide posted in the description below this video. All you will need is an ESP8266 Node MCU and a micro USB cable. Plug the microcontroller into your computer. Open Thani and acquire REPL in the Shell tab by clicking on the stop button at the top of the window. The first thing we will do is connect to a Wi-Fi network. We will do this in the REPL in the Shell tab at the bottom of Thani. We need to start by initializing a WLAN object. First we import the network module and initialize network.wlan to a variable called WLAN with one parameter that is the station interface constant, referenced as network.sta underscore if. This constant indicates that we are initializing the ESP8266 to be in station mode. This means that the device will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network just like your personal computer or mobile phone would. We will get to the other mode in a future guide. Lastly, we set the initialize WLAN object to being active by using the WLAN.active function with a single true Boolean parameter. Now this WLAN object can be used to scan nearby networks. Enter WLAN.scan into the REPL to do this. After a few seconds, this function will return a list of tuples containing information about each of the networks that were detected, most importantly including the SSIDs or names of the access points. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network which is conveniently named SSID and has a password of password. I can call the connect function from the WLAN object using these two values as parameters. After your device is done running that function, you can call WLAN.isConnected to get a Boolean value of whether the ESP8266 has connected to the network. Let's put everything we've done so far into a main.py file. Write or copy the following code into the Thani editor. This code contains a function called connect to Wi-Fi, which takes three parameters, a WLAN object, a SSID, and a password. This function will attempt to connect to the given Wi-Fi network until it successfully connects. Below the function definition, we initialize a WLAN object, activate it, and finally call the connect to Wi-Fi function. This way, our device will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi network on every reset. Save this file to your MicroPython device as main.py. Press the reset button on the Node MCU. The ESP8266 should have run the connect to Wi-Fi code in the main.py file. We can call the isConnected function to check. You can also see that the device printed connecting to Wi-Fi just after resetting before. Now that our device is connected to the internet, let's do a simple task with it. MicroPython comes with a module called NTP time. The module allows us to easily set the time of the ESP8266's RTC from a time server. Let's add a few lines to our main.py code to do this. First, we make the necessary imports, NTP time, and RTC from the machine module. Then at the end of our script, we initialize an RTC and call the setTime function from NTP time. Lastly, we print the value of RTC.DateTime. Save this to your node MCU, overwriting the previous main.py. Then press the reset button. You can see that the node MCU did pull a time from the time server, but it is not the correct time for me. The date that was printed says that it is 12.09 AM on April 1st, 2020. At the time of recording, the time for me was 8.09 p.m. on March 31st. The wrong time was printed because I'm located in the Eastern time zone in the United States, and the time that was pulled was the Greenwich Mean Time. Let's add some more code to the main.py script to fix this. We can fix this by manually setting the wrong elements of the RTC's date time to the proper elements. In our main.py code, Let's add a dictionary of values that pairs date strings to the index of the corresponding element's location in the date time tuple. Then let's create a function that changes a specific value of the RTC's date time. 
Lastly, we can correct the wrong values by calling our new function. I happen to be doing this on the 31st of March, so I need to change the month, day, and hour values. But you will likely only need to change the hour value, depending on what time you are doing this. Save this updated main.py script to your device. Then press the reset button. As you can see, the first incorrect time is printed, and then on the next line, the correct time is printed for my time zone. Obviously, this method of correcting time isn't ideal, but this was only meant to be a simple demo of connecting to a network with your Node MCU. You could still use NTP time to pull the time to a project like a clock every day at the same time in order to keep it accurate and correct it manually like we do here. Or you could write your own script to get the accurate time for your time zone. Maybe we can do that in a future guide. This concludes this guide. If you want to check out more of our guides, head on over to micronote.tech, where we have write-ups that go along with our videos on YouTube. We also just released our first product called the Atlas Kit, which is available now in our Etsy store and ships to the US and Canada. This kit comes with a Node MCU and all of the requisite parts to be soldered into the expansion board that the Node MCU fits into. This kit is our beginner's platform for getting started with electronics and programming. In the future, we will be posting guides and project ideas for the Atlas kit, along with our usual Node MCU guides to our website and YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.